recently I was contacted by the Hover Air company and they wanted me to try out their X1 Pro Max flying camera. Now this isn't like any other drone that I've seen. In fact, I don't even own a drone. I'm just trying this one out. It's actually very small. It fits in your pocket and it opens up like this and it does some amazing things. So join me for the next few minutes and let's put it through its paces and see if this thing's any good. Let's turn it on. One of the things at the onset of looking at this flying camera is you can do all of the operations just from this little flying camera. I know another word for it is a drone, but the Hover Air company seems to only refer to it as a flying camera. And that's really what it is. It's like having a second cameraman. If you're a YouTuber, you're going on cycling trips, you're going for hikes or whatever. You can change the different modes on this little baby by pushing this button here, left and right button, and you can also set the parameters and you can see it in this uh, LED screen. I'm going to go over this when we're back in the shop and we'll really be able to get a good understanding of the capabilities. Well, let's put it through its various modes right now. Continue. As you can see, it's hovering, and it's also turning to face me as I walk around. Now to get it to turn off, all I do is I put my hand underneath it, and it lands in your hand. So that's pretty cool. You could actually use that mode as an action camera without a tripod. You could have a hovering just in front of you and you could talk to it and you'd be recorded. You use your phone if you want to record on this device and we'll look at that later. Let's do the follow me mode and see what happens. Now it should follow me. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. And it landed. That's pretty cool. So let's try another one of these modes here. Orbit. It's going to go around me, I hope. Let's see. It's going to go out five feet. And then it should take a picture of me from 360 degrees around. It works. lands, shuts off, bird eye. So this should go straight up about 16 feet and look down on me with the gimbaled camera and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Hello up there. Now dolly track is, let's say I'm on my bicycle and I'm moving forward. This should stay in front of me and record me as I'm moving forward. Let's see how it works when I walk. Now here's one that may be a little challenge for it with the frequent gusts of wind. Zoom out, it's gonna go 30 feet away from me and then hopefully it's gonna come back. 30 feet. Here we Zoom go. Out. Zoom out, bye bye little buddy. Hope to see you soon. It's about 30 feet away. And now it's coming back. That worked nice. Why don't we see how it works when I ride a bike? 
I'm on one of my bicycles and I'm gonna try follow me mode and see how this works out. I'm in a protected area, a very large parking lot at my favorite local park and let's give it a go. See if this thing will keep up with me. Okay, so I've got it on follow me mode. Let's see if this will really follow me. You can see it in my rear view mirror. I'm gonna take a big radius here. Pick up a little speed, see if it can keep up. It's windy. See what happens if I go between these trees. Let's put it in dolly track mode and see if this flying camera will be out in front of me as I cycle along. I've got it set very close to me on this dolly track mode. It's tracking me quite nicely. I can see that gimbal being very straight. Be interesting to see how steady the shot is when I get back home because the wind is blowing this little thing all over the place. So now that I've seen what this Hover Air Pro Max can do, let's go back into the shop and take a close look at the settings. So I'm back home. It's been a couple of days and I wanted to take the opportunity to go over some more of the details of the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. So here it is. And I've got to tell you, this is a fantastic little unit. Uh, the brief time that I had to go out and test it, um, I was quite impressed. Like I mentioned before, it's very small. It folds up, fits into your pocket, opens up, and you're ready to fly. So during the next few minutes, we're going to go over some of the settings. So when we're going over this video, I'm also going to include some clips provided by the Hover Air Company. They really show some of the details and a picture's worth a thousand words, right? So I think that will add to the explanation of this little unit. So this little flying camera is the first one to have 8K resolution, although I did shoot in 4K 30 frames per second. It's also very lightweight. It weighs 192 and a half grams, which is a little under seven ounces. So you can take this thing with you anywhere. It shoots in both horizontal and vertical modes for those that want to post on Instagram or YouTube shorts. And it has a three axis gimbal on the front. So your videos are gonna look very smooth. When I was on my bicycle ride, remember I mentioned that uh, the wind was batting this thing around quite a bit. It was going back and forth like this. And I was hoping that when I looked at the video, it would be smooth, and it certainly was. So that's very impressive. I was talking to a friend about this, and they said, oh yeah, well, how fast will that thing go? So I looked it up, and it will go up to 26 miles an hour following you. And then in a short burst mode, it'll even reach speeds of 37 miles an hour. It shoots in 4K. 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. It also has an HDR mode. So in 4K, it'll also shoot up to 120 frames per second if you wanna slow things down during your editing process. So as we already mentioned, this is an 8K flying camera. So in that mode, you can shoot in 30 frames per second. And you will get extremely high resolution. It has a 17 millimeter lens with a 104 degree field of view to give you that real immersive feeling. I really like the dolly track mode that I demonstrated in the video where I had the drone in front of me as I was riding along on my bicycle. I mean, you can throw away your selfie stick if you try to get those kind of shots. You could use that when you're hiking or just walking along with your family making home movies. It's a pretty cool little device, don't you think? I don't know if you can see this, but there's a camera mounted in the rear of this device so that when you're in dolly track mode and you're moving forward, if there's a tree or something come up, 
uh, it, that camera is going to move the drone so that it will avoid any obstructions. So that's a pretty nice feature. So let's start pushing buttons. If you push it once quickly, it'll tell you how much battery you have left. I believe here it says I have 100%, and that goes off rather quickly. If you push it down for about three seconds, it turns on. Current mode, dolly track. Current mode, dolly track. Well, I'm not going to fly this around the room. So then you can scroll through the different modes and set it where you want. Bird eye. Orbit. Follow. Zoom out. Hover. Ski mode. Dolly track. So we're back to Dolly track and you'll notice also it had ski mode. So I just may take this with me when I go skiing in a few weeks. The snow's been flying here in Connecticut and I'm really looking forward to that. Let me show you how you can change some of the parameters of a mode just using this little button when you're out in the field. So right now I have it set to zoom out and initially it was set to 30 feet. Well, I can hit this little button here and remember when we were out, it was um, set at 30 feet. So I had it 30 feet high. So you can change that to 20 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, and you can also change the parameter to go, instead of up in the air, in zoom mode, it can go straight horizontally away from you. And you just hit the button on the other side to do that. So this unit is so self-contained and it makes it so easy. Once again, I'm not kidding when I say you just take it out of your pocket and you're good to go. Whatever mode you want, whatever conditions present themselves. Now I'm going to show you a series of short clips from the Hover Air company. Pro Max also has voice controls. Hover, take off. And you can also get the kit that has a carrying case that you take along with you that actually will charge your battery in about 20 minutes. Our tough leather carry case that holds two full additional charges and along with our specially designed thermo smart battery function in temperatures as low as minus four degrees Fahrenheit. From what I've researched, a lot of drone operators are always concerned about whether you can fly your drone over snow, water, anywhere. So these concerns are met by the following. And now with Omni Terrain, you can fly over water, snow, or even off a cliff. Now this flying camera came to me with a very nice carrying case and also this little bag right here, which you can put your drone in one side and also all your accessories on the other side. And it's got a zipper down the middle so that the whole thing separates and you can mount it on the crossbar on your bicycle and secure it there if you're going to take it with you when you're out riding. No, I'm pretty impressed with this unit. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna use it. So I hope this short video has given you a little insight into this unit and whether it would be something you'd want to consider, whether it's good for you or not, only you can know. So once again, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And this is a cycling channel. So as always, thank you and happy pedaling. Have a great day.